Hey YouTube, um, so today I decided that I was going to do some Surviving a Game Spot, and I really hit it big time this time. I've been trying to go for probably like three weeks, and the most I ever found was one game, and it was like the second disc for Halo, so it didn't even work. But this time I really hit it big. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got. And uh, there's two games that I'm not going to show. It's Fallout 3 for Xbox 360 and Marvel Ultimate Alliance for Xbox 360. They're in the sleeve and I just tested them on my Xbox and they do work. There's no scratches on them, so I have no idea why they throw these out, but okay. So let's just start. And sorry for the awful viewing. It's through my laptop webcam, so. Okay. So before I show you, I'll just go ahead and say that there's 119 games total, including the the two I told you, and then including another Fallout 3 Xbox 360 disc that's beyond playable. So go ahead and give you a little review. Laptop down and show you the things that I got. So these are all the Xbox 360 games plus the ones I told you about that were in the sleeve. Not the best titles, but I really cannot complain for it being free. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got in the sleeves. I got some PlayStation 2 games. I haven't tested these because I don't have my PlayStation 2 with me. And I haven't really looked at them yet to see how scratched up they are. I just kind of, when I saw all these in the dumpster, it was pretty late. And so I wanted to go ahead and snag all the stuff that I could. I had to leave some because I just couldn't reach. But, um, this one is... War of the Monsters. I've never played that before, but now I can. And it's pretty scratched up, so I may not even play. And then... Deep Land. There's not really any scratches on this one, so that's good. I got two of these. Never played this game either. It's been a really long time since I played PlayStation 2. This one is Fantasy Star Universe. And there's not really any scratches on it. Let's see how the other copy is. Yeah, this one's pretty bad. I don't know if you guys can see the, the blotches on it. It's just really bad. And then I got SOCOM US Navy Skills Combined Assault. Not too bad. Might play. I'm really bad at trying to figure out which way is right. And then I got Obscure the Aftermath. And this might just be Dirt, maybe. I'll get the angle right eventually. I had to switch phones or I'd be recording it on my phone. The new phone that I'm using, for whatever reason, doesn't let me access my video.
I got three of these, but this one's really scratched up. So I'm pretty sure this one's not going to play. This one's also really scratched up. This one's not too bad, so this copy probably will play. And I got SSX3, and there's not really any scratches on that, so that's nice. And then I got Time Splitter. I've actually never heard of this game. And it's sealed in the sleeve, so. It doesn't look bad at all. Just a couple scratches. I don't even know if you can see. And the last one that I got is Star Ocean till the end of time. And that one doesn't really have any scratches, so that one shows away. And so that's the PS2 game. So I got the 12 of those. I got a butt ton of Madden 2010 for PlayStation 3. Like, I got 37 copies of it. And I can't complain because they're free. I wasn't just going to leave free games in the dumpster, but I really don't know what I'm going to do with all these copies. So, if anybody wants 37 copies of them, let me know. So that stack, and then this one right here, all bad in 2010. And then the stack next to that one is all bad in 2009. So it's not nearly as much as the other one, but it's still a lot. And then going on with more Madden, I also got five copies of Madden 2011. And all the cases that I'm showing you do have the games inside of them. Not all of them have the manuals, but pretty many of them do. And, like, most of the ones I was checking out don't even have a single scratch. Like this, I really don't know if you guys see this, but there's no scratches on them. I think they're just throwing them out because they're the cheaper games that they have. There's too many of them. And then this is the only single copy of this I got, and it's MLB The Show 2008. And it's totally complete. has the books, everything. Not a single scratch on it. And then I got two copies of Madden 2012, which is really nice, considering that's the newer one. This doesn't have any scratches on it. No manual on this one, but... Mm. No manual on this either. A couple of little marks, but that's about it. And then I got Time Shift. I've never played any of these um, games because I don't even have a PlayStation 3. But like I said, I just did not want to leave them in the dumpster. This doesn't have any marks on it at all. It almost looks new. The one I was really excited to get is this. I didn't even think the game would be in here. I mean, I've obviously played this game a lot through my Xbox 360, but it even has uh, the download code in it, which I don't know if it works. But if somebody wants it, 
feel free to message me and I'll give you the code just to try it out for yourself. Got a couple scratches, not bad though. That was really nice to find. When I found two copies of SOCOM Confrontation. Never played this game before. It's complete. It has the manual in it. Let's see if it's scratched. It's not scratched, but it does have a few fingerprints on it. So that should be fine and it should play. This one's in the little sleeve that they normally keep in their drawer. And this one's in way worse condition than the other one. It looks kind of like there's chunks taken out of it. I don't know. It doesn't know if you guys can see this. Probably not. I don't think that one will play. Oh, it's really case, so. And then I got pretty many of the sports champions. I have eight of these in there. And they all have a disc in them. This one's not complete. Those have a disc. This one is complete with the disc. Maybe it's even a plea. Let's see if the disc is messed up. The disc looks brand new to me. No scratches. So I won't go ahead and open all these, but they're all in there. I checked already. And then another PlayStation 3 game I got was NBA Live 2009. This is this. And the disc has a few marks on it. It might come off. And then the last one that I got was MLB 09 to show. That one's in here in the sleeve. It's not bad. Got a few marks on it. Probably the play. And then I also got two games. So I've never played this before, but it seems kind of interesting. It's D-Blob, or D-Blob, however you want to say it. It's complete. It's kind of dirty inside. It's got the one scratch on it, which I don't think will be too bad. Now this one, I actually don't own this game and I, I wanted it just because it's got all the different games on it. This case is so disgusting. I mean, you can just start to see it from this. I don't know if my is good enough to show you, but it's... I don't know, somebody must have spilled the soda inside the dumpster because this just is vegan. It's really good. Yeah. The game's in there. I don't know what the heck that is, but luckily it's not on the game. On the front of it, but not on the important side. So I'll, I'm going to trash this case, I just really don't know what this is. I'm going to even take the game out now and trash that. And then I also got it. Dance Dance Revolution, Hottest Party 2. Never played this, but dancing games are always fun. It's complete. And 
and got one little mark on it, but no scratches, so that'll be good. And then I got Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Actually, in the please. Marks on it, but I think that'll come right off and it'll play fine. And put in a key. And I got two copies of Wii Music. I've never played this game before, I've actually, even heard of it. And the key is just not wanting to pick my heart. Okay. I can see. Hmm. Got some blotchy spots on it. I'm not sure what it is. Somebody tried to clean it and mess it up. This case is really awful. And it's throwing that case out. I'm going to play the copy of it. And this one's pretty bad too. There's quite a few scratches on it. But still a free game. And this is not even going to go in the case. Okay. So out of all the games that I mentioned, I think I already said this, but there's 119. So even if there are really like cheap, crappy-ish games, they're still free. And that's 119 games that I didn't have before. So I'll definitely take those any day. And I was really excited to find the rest of this stuff. There was actually a lot more games and other things I couldn't see. I'd I had a flashlight, but the battery died on me. I couldn't see down, and I was tempted to actually climb in the dumpster, but the place that I go to, there's a security guy that drives around a lot, and so it kind of freaks me out if I get stuck in the dumpster. I just didn't want to bother with that, so I got all I could reach, but um, this is one thing. It's a Logitech controller, and I'm going to assume it's for, for um, the PC got the USB connection. I don't personally play PC games, but I do have a friend that does. I mean, all the controls look fine. The cord is not cut at all, whatsoever. It, w it didn't get wet, luckily, which is really funny because it's been raining all day, but for once they covered the dumpster with the lid, so actually none of this got wet. I got extremely lucky. And then I found this. I'm going to assume this is also for the PC. But it's brand new. So I don't understand why it's this field destroy. It's brand new. Like, they don't think it works. And it's literally never been open. I mean, it's I just don't get it. I'm not even sure how good of a controller this is because like I said, I, I'm not a PC gamer at all. I'm more of the old school systems and then Xbox 360. But my friend probably could use it because it's got turbo on it. So that's always nice. Got that. And then I found this in there too. This seems to be like it's in fine condition. I mean, I have a turtle beach, so I don't have any use for it, but the, the wire is not cut at all. Seems to be fine, so I guess they just decided to throw this Xbox 360 headset out for no reason. Perfectly clean, too. And it wasn't in a bag or anything, so that, that was really good and lucky. And then this, this is another. 
Let me see if I have a bag. Who's in this? This is defective, so I'm not sure. There was only one battery pack. <coughs> oh, oh man. I guess the dumpster made me sick. There was only one battery pack in it, and the charging dock for two controllers. So maybe they considered defective because there was only one in there at first with two, but from what I can see, code-wise, there's no problem. It didn't get wet, perfectly dry, clean, so hopefully that works, but I don't have that for my Wii. And then, the next thing I found, I thought was really cool, um, I guess there's nothing too fancy, but I just found it really amusing. It's we ten cases for gift cards, and it says that it's defective, and <coughs> I just don't understand how it could be defective if it's a ten case. I mean, what's defective about a ten case? Found three of them. So those are going to be pretty cool to be able to gift to somebody. I still, I still don't get it why they would say it's defective, but okay. Um, that's pretty much all the stuff I got. There was a lot more stuff in there. Oh, and, and then I also found in one of the garbage bags the PlayStation 4 lanyard and a Xbox 360 manual and a code for a game that I can't remember and something else I just can't remember I actually left it in my car so I was really excited when these bags full of games up here and people staring at me they probably thought I stole these and that I'm a drug dealer or game dealer or whatever you want to call me but it's really exciting um, I plan to keep going back to that dumpster for sure. It's a little bit of a drive, but honestly, if I had been able to get this much stuff all the time, I really don't care. I'll make that drive. So that's, that's my video. Um, this video is extremely long. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to know what I got, 119 games, two controllers, three pin things, a charging dock, and a headset. So that's everything I got. Um, and the reason why I ever got into dumpster diving was because of OK Cheese and probably say this wrong, but T K Johnson. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I watch both of their videos a lot. Um, they're really good at finding things in the dumpster. And OK Cheese, I've been watching his videos a ton. He's awesome and gets like the coolest things ever in the mail from people. So hopefully one day I can get to that status, but we'll see. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you like it, because I'll be posting a lot more dumpster dives.